Today, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instruction to help you draw the male upper body. All you will need are some drawing tools and some tenacity. Be sure to pause the video at the end of each step and observe the reference image that I give you. After we get through the steps, I will guide you through the shading process. Many people who have never drawn before have had a lot of success with my step-by-step -step videos, and you will too. Let's begin. Step 1. Draw the shape that you see. Notice that it is curved at the bottom. Also, be sure to notice the W shape at the top. Make sure that you notice the left part of the W is smaller than the part on the right. Step 2. Lengthen the W to form the chest muscles. Also, add the shadow lines below each chest muscle. Step 3 is a tricky step. Add the line to complete the shape for the arm and the shoulders. Take extra time to observe during this step. Step 4. Complete the arms. Notice that each upper arm is wider than the lower arm, but both parts are rounded in shape. Steps 5, 6, 7, and 8 are all smaller details that I added for shadows. Do not stress out over these details. Expect your placement to be close rather than perfect. In other words, try to place them as accurately as possible, but know that they do not have to be placed perfectly for you to have a successful drawing. Now it's time for the shading part, and uh, the first tip I'll give you is to pause it at different parts of the shading uh, section of this video. Um, kind of create your own steps. Uh, when you feel like I'm going a little bit too fast, just pause it. So um, yeah, You can even start right now if you want. Uh, but uh, what I'm doing, I'm going to start out with the darker areas. Um, I always tend to do that. Uh, and the darkest areas uh, that you're going to see is the area under the uh, pectoral muscles, um, uh, also known as the chest muscles, and the area at the neck, um, it, which was a shadow underneath the head. Uh, and um, I actually kind of regret doing the neck right now because there is no head, and that kind of doesn't make sense. But um, if you wish to add a head on at any point, uh, it'll look really good uh, with the neck shadows uh, right there. Um, even though I'm going dark right away, please notice I'm using an HB pencil, uh, otherwise known as a number 2 pencil. Um, and I'm going to add the uh, the darkest parts uh, even later. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm just I'm trying to uh, show myself for later. Uh, you know, which areas are going to be the darkest. So uh, I'm pressing kind of hard with the HB pencil. Um, I'm defining the line. Uh, uh, I was defining the line that goes straight down the chest. Um, you know, that's a sign of uh, of true fitness uh, when you have that line that goes down the chest um, and you know, this picture was taken in extreme uh, highlight and shadow. There was a lot of contrast in there, so you could really see that line. That's a big part of it. I just went back to that in uh, defining the abdominal muscles. Um, now I'm working on uh, the external obliques, um, you know, and the side of the rib cage to the side of the body. Um, the external obliques are the muscles that uh, are on the side of the body. Um, very useful in swinging a baseball bat and so forth. Um, Let's see. Uh, still using the HB pencil. I'm just trying to move around. Um, the hand, I kind of left one hand off, one hand on. I kind of wish I left two hands off. Um, you know, just to focus on the torso. Um, but I added one. I'm using the eraser to create shapes as well. Um, if you notice, uh, everywhere on the body, even though there's highlights, um, everywhere on the body has been covered by the pencil at one point or another. Um, and then I use the paintbrush to kind of smudge it over. Um, and if I need to, I erase. I kind of like pull the shapes of the highlights out of that. Now you see me using the darker pencils. Uh, that is a 4B pencil. I go all the way up to an 8B pencil. The green one is going to be uh, an 8B pencil. Um, getting a little bit of glare there. That's not a highlight uh, in that shadow area, but you'll see in a second. The right-hand side of the body um, is a little bit darker. It's turned a little bit more to the shadow. Um, of course, that means the side to your left, um, you know, the figure's right-hand side. 
Um, I had to define the nipple um, a few times, you know, because I, I hatched over it a few times. Uh, but yeah, you might find that you have to do that. Okay, now I'm getting into the trickiest part, uh, which is the the uh, the core area. And uh, again, I'm going to repeat what I said in the shadow. Um, that would, what I recommended for the um, the step with uh, all of the shadows, or the four steps rather. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you know, all human bodies uh, have similar physiologies to them. There are slight differences, uh, but, you know, in terms of lighting and shadows, you know, it, it gets illuminated uh, differently. So you don't have to worry, uh, or, or put into shadow differently. So you don't have to worry about it being perfect. Um, sometimes if there's a strong light from up above, um, you could get a longer shadow. And, you know, a, a lot of times, fitness magazines, if you notice, it's almost always uh, not directly on top, but in front, you know, just so that we could have the shadows going straight down. Um, now you see me using that eraser. I think the lines are a little bit too defined um, in the area that I'm working on right now, so you're going to see me erase a little bit with the eraser, and you're going to see me hatch over it again. Uh, the midsection is what I spent the most time on. It's like doing drawing crunches, you know? All that uh, cross-hatching. Bad joke, Meryl. Stick to your day job. Okay, so... Um, defining the arms and putting the finishing touches on now. Almost done. And don't forget, stop this at different points. Um, if you feel that this went too fast, just go back. Uh, shading takes a long time to learn. Um, I do recommend that you give it a try, uh, even if you think that you're going to screw up your drawing. Like, let's say that you uh, worked a long time on the steps. Um, you could photocopy it, and you can, ha you can um, practice your shading as many times as you want. Uh, but uh, I, I definitely recommend give it, you know, jumping right in and trying to shade along with me. And you might have to watch it a few times. Um, hopefully that won't take too much time out of your day. But, um, you know, shading takes practice. It's easy enough to get you the, the shapes the correct way through the steps. But um, you kind of need to see me do it or somebody else do it. Um, and you kind of need to follow along as much as you can. And that's that. Um, I did a human proportion tutorial earlier in the year. Um, and um, it, it gives you the overall proportions of the human body. Um, I think it's pretty helpful. Um, got really fit to do that one as well, but since I've been on an all donut diet, but it's all good. Anyway, I hope that this tutorial helped you, and um, leave me a comment. Um, good luck.